Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Spagabber. This is Spagabber Backpacking. We're here in my kitchen, just sitting at the table where I wanted to show you guys uh, a new stove that I got. And this one's a little bit different because it's not a uh, not an alcohol stove. It is a canister stove. And so this is the new Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Now I've got the Pocket Rocket 2 right here to kind of show you guys, give you a comparison of the two, and we can talk through some of the differences of them. And then I wanted to get out the, the scale and a canister and do a little bit of testing to see fuel efficiency of both of them. And we're gonna try using a couple of different pots. So we've got the 700 and the 550 that I take out a lot. So we're gonna see, does one of them perform better with each of the pots? Do, does one just outperform the other all around? Uh, we can take a look at the, the heads of them and talk about the differences, talk about some of the other similar stoves out there, and come to the determination which is the better stove, which is the best bang for the buck. So why don't we get started? Let's go. So this is the new stove. This is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. I've been waiting for this to come out for a while because it is very, very similar to another stove that's out there that has great reviews and I've gone back and forth on and almost purchased a couple times and that is the Soto Windmaster. So the Soto Windmaster is a Japanese stove that performs extremely well in windy situations. It's very efficient and it's pretty quiet. Uh, so this one, really looks a lot like that except that like you know sticking to the pocket rocket heritage it has the the foldable legs now on the first one it was a they just kind of expanded out and in uh, but then when it went to the pocket rocket 2 and again continuing on to the pocket rocket deluxe it has the folding legs so uh, they kind of fold up so that you can get them out pretty easily and then they make a nice, pretty wide pot stand base there. Now what you'll notice about these is that it is very close to the burner. If you set your pot on there, that pot is going to be pretty close to the burner. You can see that gap there, it's not very big. And that's one of the things that really helps it deal well with the wind. Now if you take a look at the burner head of the old pocket rocket right there, and look at the flat of it. So it had this this Y piece on top that they used to help direct the wind, keep the wind off of it. What they've done here, if we look at the top of this one, is they've created this concave burner head. So inside of there you've got the burner holes and so they're recessed down in there and there's a lip to this little conical part here that surrounds it that really will keep the wind off of it completely. I mean, if you look at it from the side, even if it's tilted a little bit, it's hard to really see the burner holes because they're protected. Whereas on this one, they were recessed slightly, but they had this little wind V here, or Y, that was supposed to keep them protected. A couple other, other differences here between the two and the, uh, the deluxe. Let's take a look real quick. So on the two, you can see that pot sits up quite a bit higher when you go burner to pot. Uh, it's quite a bit higher, it's quite a bit closer with the new one. The body itself, of course, with the new one is uh, a little bit taller. I mean, overall, it's, it's not a huge difference, but this one has a, a regulator, whereas this one has the needle valve. And so the regulator in this control is supposed to provide a better flame control. Additionally, MSR has added a piezo igniter that is located right here in the center. Uh, if you look into the hole here, if you look in through that hole, you can see that little loop and that is the wire that runs inside. So it's all internally routed and then it's got this nice little click that, uh, that works the piezo. 
So very easy flame control, self-igniting, so you don't have to worry about digging out a lighter every time you want to start this. And um, just a well-constructed design. Uh, on the old model, the, the two, the threaded area is part of this brass base. Whereas on the new one, you've got, I'm not sure what kind of metal this black is, but then you've got the brass threaded area. Let's see if I can get that to focus. That brass threaded area is actually a an insert that could be removed if those threads ever get damaged. So that's, uh, that's nice. So why don't we get down to actually uh, getting these things fired up and seeing how they perform. Okay, let's take a look at the weights of these two stoves. So first, the Pocket Rocket 2. We've got 74.1 grams. And the new Pocket Rocket Deluxe, we've got 82.9 grams. So about a nine gram difference right there uh, between the two stoves, so not a huge difference. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 16 ounces, so two cups of water. We're gonna bring it to a boil. Starting temperature is 63.3 degrees. I'm going to weigh this canister right now. So beginning weight of the canister is 263.8 grams. So we're gonna go in grams. We're gonna measure it. First, we're gonna bring this to a boil. Then we're gonna measure it again to see what the difference is, see how many grams it took with each stove. We're gonna start with the Pocket Rocket 2 and see what it takes to bring this one to a boil, both in terms of time and in terms of grams of fuel. Then we'll repeat that with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. We'll do it first with the 550, then we'll move over and do it with the 700, see if any differences are between the two. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Pocket Rocket 2, I've got it screwed onto the canister. I've got the water ready to go here, so I'm gonna set it right on top and kind of get it, get it centered right where I want it for this test. I've got the stopwatch ready to go. This one, I've gotta use a lighter because there's no igniter on it. And we're gonna turn it up to full blast and get this thing going, so let's get it lit. There's. doesn't turn anymore. There we go, and I'm hitting start. So let's see what it takes, how much fuel it uses, and we'll know. So as you can hear, this stove is loud. It is really loud, but it is heating it up fast. We're passing 130 degrees, and it's only been just over a minute. Okay, so we are coming up on 200 degrees at about two and a half minutes. And there is a boil at 243. So 243 for a boil on that one. So there you go, two minutes, 43 seconds to bring it to a boil. That was two cups. Now you can see with the 550, I normally do all my tests with 12 ounces of, of water in my 550. Actually 12 ounces in everything because that's typically the most I use for any of the meals that I prepare. However, I've had a lot of people that wanted to see what 16 ounces would do. And so that's why I use 16 ounces on this one. So starting weight was 263.8. Let's put it on and see what we burned there. So we've got 255.7. So that's 8.1 grams to boil two cups of water. So let's now get set up to do the same test using the new Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Okay, so I've got it set up again with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Timer's reset. Got fresh water in here. It's sitting at 65 degrees, so a degree and a half off of what it was before. So with this one, I will again put it on top, get it centered right where I want it. Looks pretty good. But this time, because of that piezo igniter, I don't have to use the lighter. So as soon as I hear it, hit that. Turned up all the way, and we'll see what this one does. There's the timer is started. So let's come back when this thing's boiling. So I will say, 
this one is a much wider flame pattern. The flames are actually coming up over the sides of the, uh, of the pot here. And so this one may work better with the wider pot, but it's also quite a bit quieter than the Pocket Rocket 2. Okay, we're getting actually really close to a boil. Uh, actually, because of the way the flames were, were licking up the side, it melted my uh, thermometer. So that's not great. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this lid off. Ooh, that's hot. And uh, so we're at just past two minutes and we're almost to a boil right now. I mean, it is close. I'm gonna call that a boil right there at two minutes, 15 seconds. Turn that off. And uh, I'll get something to get this off of here, get this thing weighed and see what that one used. But 30 seconds faster than the Pocket Rocket 2. Okay, so it's time to weigh this canister. And uh, it was 255.7 to start. We are at 245.8. Okay, so for that test, using the smaller 550, the Pocket Rocket Deluxe used 9.9 .9 grams, whereas the Pocket Rocket 2 used 8.1 grams. Now the Pocket Rocket 2 did it 30 seconds faster, so if time is what you're looking for and you're using a 550, the Deluxe is the way to go. If fuel efficiency is what you're looking for, it may be the Pocket Rocket 2 you're looking for. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the 700. So the Toke 700, I've got water sitting right at 65 degrees. I'm gonna keep the, uh, the thermometer out of there. Don't really need to uh, burn that any more than it is. It does still work, but uh, it doesn't look quite as nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, make sure this is all set, ready for this to go. Pretty well centered. I'm gonna get this thing going. Again, have to use the lighter. And then I will uh, get the timer going. We'll open it full open. All the way, start, we'll come back and see what it does. Okay, we're coming up on 200 degrees. I'm gonna pull the top so we can see right when it comes to a boil. It's definitely getting close. Lots of bubbles in there. And I'm gonna call that a boil right there. Two minutes, 37 seconds. Two minutes, 37 seconds for the boil on that one. Okay, so let's see what the weight is. Starting weight was 245.8. Helps if it's turned on. 239. Point two. Okay, so it actually <laughs> was bouncing between one and two, and it started to be pretty steady on one, so 239.1, which means it burned 6.7 grams using the bigger pot to bring it to a boil. So let's get it set up with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. I've got water refreshed, so let's get this thing going. All right, Pocket Rocket Deluxe is set up, 65 degree water on here, Again, no lighter needed. Stopwatch is ready to go. Let's get this thing going. And there we go. Okay, there's 200 degrees. I'm gonna take the top off just like did last time. And I'm gonna call that a boil right there at one minute, 58 seconds. One minute, 58 seconds. That is pretty fast. All right, let's get this thing on the scale and see what it weighs right now. Starting weight was 239.1, and we've got 231.6. Okay, so that means with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, using the 700, we used seven and a half grams. So a little bit closer on that one. I mean, pretty close. About a gram difference, so 6.7, 7.5. The difference though was two minutes, 37 seconds versus one minute, 58 seconds. Not a huge difference, but it is a difference. Okay, so we're gonna do one more test. We're gonna take these things outside and we're really gonna put them to the test in some pretty extreme conditions. And when I say extreme, I'm talking about a pretty typical Oklahoma day. So as you can see here, 
we currently have winds that are steady state at 25 gusting to 34 so we're going to get these two out there we're going to use the 700 and we're going to see what kind of times they put up now i'll take you out there and show you i'll probably put music behind it and then we'll come in and talk because it's going to be too loud out there the wind noise on the mics going to be horrible so let's just get this done We got a good test of these two stoves today. So we've got the Pocket Rocket 2 and the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Gave them a little head to head, both with the 550 and with the 700, both inside and outside on a much less than ideal situation type of day. So I'll be honest, no one, almost no one, is going to use either one of these stoves in the situation I put them in out on my back patio. I didn't have anything around them. I wasn't sitting on the side blocking the wind. I let them just completely sit out in the wind. Now, we did have, uh, you could definitely hear the wind was having a lot of impact with the Pocket Rocket 2. It was pretty much blowing it almost out. Uh, it never actually blew completely out, but it, you could hear it affecting it. You couldn't hear it as much with this one. However, the wind, <laughs> that amount of wind was just robbing so much heat around that pot that at one point I had been checking and about every 30 seconds I'd lift the lid just to see what was going on. At two minutes, I thought we were getting pretty close to a boil with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. At three minutes, it looked like it was, I mean, there were those little micro bubbles everywhere. It was pretty close. At that point, a huge gust of wind came up and blew the lid off of the pot. The lid went flying. I had to go grab it, and when I got back, the water was completely calm. So the wind had, had really cooled it off. Had the lid stayed on, I think probably around three minutes, 30 seconds, maybe as late as four minutes, it would have boiled. However, because the lid blew off, it cooled it down, and it took quite a bit of time to get it back up to that point. Uh, so let's talk about what the results were outside in the wind with these two. So Pocket Rocket 2 was the first one that I used. 12 minutes and 45 seconds to boil that two cups of water. The wind is whipping. There was no relief from it. I let it come straight at it. Uh, it used 28.4 grams of fuel to boil those two cups of water. The Pocket Rocket Deluxe, like I said, I had hopes for it. I thought it was gonna do so much better. I thought it was gonna be in the three to four minute range. The lid blew off, it cooled down. It had a hard time after that. And uh, really, I think the amount of fuel that's left in here could have had a little bit of an impact on that as well because there is not much left in that. It burned 20.7 grams of fuel and took six minutes and 10 seconds to bring that water to a boil. So. That's what we've got with these. Pretty cool stoves, great stoves. This one's definitely quieter than the Pocket Rocket 2. Uh, the burner sits closer to the pots, and so I think that makes it a little bit more efficient. Uh, now these were wide open, and so the fuel usage table that I'm gonna show you guys, uh, you know, take it or leave it, but that's with it wide open. That's the only way you can really do a true test with a stove like this. If you go to the point where uh, it feels like it's the, or it sounds like it's at the hottest, it sounds like it's at the, the most efficient, whatever, uh, open it all the way up and that's, that's how you're gonna get the test done. So guys, that's what I had on these. If you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I appreciate the feedback, I appreciate the comments, keep them coming. If you guys like this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right next to it, there's a bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time I post a video. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I will see you down the trail.